Oh, fuck. Yo, guys, what is going on? It is AP. Welcome to today's video. I know, I know, I haven't uploaded in two weeks. I mean, and to be honest, I've got no good reason. I mean, I've had two videos lined up, ready to record, and I've just not fucking bothered. It's my fault. Um, and I, I, I did miss the Wednesday game of the weekend. But, um, for reasons I would not like to discuss. Anyway, so yeah, welcome to today's video. Now today, guys, we're going to be looking at some more transfers. And oh my god, there are some big ones today. <laughs> Fucking hell. So let's dive right into it. So we're going to start off. These are some of the most expensive transfers of this summer. So we're going to start off with Kyle Walker. Now I'm sure you all know he's gone to City, but he's gone for 50 million. 50 million for Kyle Walker? Are you crazy, Pep? Jesus Christ, who the f who on earth would pay 50 million for Kyle Walker, for any fullback? That is ridiculous money. You spend 50 million on John Stones, on Raheem Sterling City, and now Kyle Walker. Are you mad? That is ridiculous. You are spending 150, you spent 150 mil in three years. One on a player who's been absolutely useless. The other one who, on a player who was rubbish in the first season. And now Walker, a fullback. What are you thinking? He is not worth 50 million. At best, he's probably worth about 25. That's ridiculous. 50 million. Good gracious me. That is ridiculous money to me, that. That is absolutely insane. Like, absolutely ridiculous, but... I mean, yeah, no, he's gone to see. Now, I had to talk about this one. This is Lukaku and Rooney switching teams. I know it didn't actually happen as a part of the switch for the transfer deal, but I'm going to treat it as a switch anyway because, you know, it might as well be. Are you... Like, seriously, what what would you think is going to be the side of <laughs> Quick break, mood recording whilst Dad brings in my new Xbox remote. Min. All right. So, back to it. Yeah, Lukaku and Rooney. Um... So Lukaku and Rooney basically swap clubs for 75 million for Lukaku. United, I am just done. No, you don't. Plus 15 mil add-on, 19 million pounds for Lukaku. W what? I admit, no, these transfers, they're good, but they're not worth the money that's been spent. That is ridiculous. What the hell, 19 million for Lukaku? I get that he's a class Premier League striker. He's strong, he's quick, he can dribble, he can shoot, he can pass. But he is not ever worth 19 million. The sort with Rooney now, that was a good bit of business. I applaud you, Manchester United, I applaud you. That was a good bit of business. But still, that's just, no, no, 90 million, 90 million, no. Who like, who the fuck does that? That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Right, so, basically, the last big transfer I'm going to talk about, because I am going to go on and talk about Preston signings. Of course I'm going to, but I'm a Preston fan. Um, <clears throat> but the last one I want to talk about is one we've all heard of. Even if you're not a football fan, you know this has happened. Because Neymar Jr., has gone to PSG for 222 million euros. What the fuck? Oh my God. That is, no, I'm sorry. That is stupid money. That is stupid money. That is ridiculous money. And the fact is, I heard this. I don't know whether this is true, but apparently Neymar paid Barcelona the buyout clause. What? I don't, what? I, as a football club, you pay the buyout clause, not the player, you ninnies. What the fuck? Ugh, that's just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But two, and, and either way, 222 million euros. What's that? 198 million pounds? That's ridiculous. I know it's Neymar. I know he's good. He's one of the best players in the world, there is no doubt. But no way in hell. Should there be an 198 million price tag on him? That is surreal. That is ridiculous money. No way. Not ever. 
That is insane. Okay, so, so actually, halfway through editing the video, I kind of realized, you know, that I said uh, that the club pays the buyout clause. I'm still confused on whether the player pays the buyout clause or the club. I'm still slightly confused. Um, I'm figuring it out, that's I'm sure of, but um, I'm still slightly confused. So the Preston signings then. Um, well, obviously, I went to the Fleetwood game and I saw Harrop in action. I mean, he didn't do much, but he looked on his toes. And apparently, he played well against uh, um, Wednesday and Aki, so there's something good. Uh, but we have signed a lot of players. We've also signed Declan Rudd. You know, as, as I explained, most of our transfers uh, in the last transfer video I did about two weeks ago. Uh, it's probably longer than that now. But yeah, um, but basically, we've signed two players since that video. I can't remember, who was it? Right, one sec. Then to the last transfer, transfer video I did, North End have actually signed two players. They've signed Josh Earl, I cannot remember where he came from. <clears throat> and we've signed this Mavadidi on loan from Arsenal. Um, I don't know much about Earl, um, so I can't really say much. Mavadidi though, I saw a clip of him playing last season. What? He ran through an entire team. Granted, he missed the opportunity, but he ran through an entire team. He is basically the new Ricardo Fuller. I am... What? That, that was ridiculous, what I just watched. Like, what I saw, that was... What? Oh my god. He looks awesome. It's only on loan as well, though, so there's no ridiculous money being spent. Yeah, you're listening big clubs. There's no need to spend ridiculous money on players like that. But, yeah. <laughs> Decent signings, looking at it. So, and we've already won one game. Lost to Aki, admittedly, but then again, I'm not asked about the cup. I'm going to be honest. I, I want the playoffs more than I want a decent cup run. I'm not really too upset about losing to Aki, to be honest. The thing is, they have a thing for knocking out the big teams anyway, so... Like I say, I'm not asked. I look forward to the rest of the season, and I will be covering the next game. That has been confirmed. I will be on the next home game. You will see me doing that, so don't you worry. By the way, I, the reason I missed the last one is actually because I have a job. I'm willing to talk about it now. I do actually have another job besides YouTube. I was forced to get one this summer. But, uh, yeah, th that, that's all, really. That's, that's basically it. I mean, yeah, I, that's why I missed the last game. And I'm actually working on the Friday instead of the Saturday this time around. So. so thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please slap a like. Subscribe as well. If you are new around here, because I know you want to, I know you want to see more transfer videos, and I know you want to see that drum cover of, of um, probably still going to be Norm. I know someone said in uh, crawling, but I'm, I'm going to stick with Norm, just because it's something I'm pretty sure everyone will know. But that will be out very, very soon, I assure you on that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, please please be sure to slap a like, subscribe as well if you're new, and comment down below on what and any videos you want to see or any transfers I might have missed, and I'll cover them. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all later. Goodbye.